Hi, I'm Justin Crooks, Senior Engineer for SignalHound. Today, I'd like to show you how to use the Scalar Network Analyzer mode in our new Spike software. Scalar Network Analysis can be used to measure the insertion loss of a device, such as this filter, across a range of frequencies. Adding a directional coupler allows you to measure return loss as well. To measure insertion loss, you will need a PC or laptop with the Spike software installed, a USB SA44B with a USB cable, USB TG44A with USB cable and BNC cable, a 0 dB insertion loss through, and a 20 dB pad to calibrate the gain difference between the high and low gain ranges. And finally, you'll need whatever adapters are required to connect your device under test to your SA44B and TG44A. Today, we will be comparing some tunable bandpass filters. I have plugged my spectrum analyzer and tracking generator into USB ports on my computer, connected the TG sync using a BNC cable, and connected the SA to the TG using the included SMA barrel connector, the through. Let's launch the software. Let's change our analysis mode to scalar network analysis. The signal is off screen, so let's set our reference level to 10 dB. Center frequency to 600 megahertz. And span to 500 megahertz. Now we can see the trace is not exactly on the 0 dB line. Only rough corrections are applied at this point, so don't be surprised if it is a few dB off. Let's fix this by clicking Store Through. After a second or so, we should see a nice flat line at 0 dB. Note that if we change frequency or span, the through data is lost and must be rerun for accurate measurements. Now, to improve the accuracy for high insertion loss points, there is an additional step. I have inserted 20 dB of attenuation between the TG and SA. When I click Store 20 dB Pad, the small offsets between the high and low gain settings at each frequency are measured and nulled. Please note that the exact attenuation value is not critical. Anything from 18 to 32 dB should work. Let's take a look at the noise floor for this measurement by measuring an open. I'll just disconnect it here. It's off screen, so let's change our scale to 12 dB per division. It looks like it's somewhere around 100 dB, so measurements down to 90 dB or so should be OK. I have installed our telonic filter between the TG and SA. We can find the peak amplitude by using peak search and find insertion loss relative to this peak by clicking delta, then clicking the frequency we wish to measure. Six markers are available. And fine tuning using the arrow keys. Now let's freeze this trace by unchecking the update box and activate a second trace. I switched over to the KNL filter. As you can see, there's a little more insertion loss and ripple, but the roll off is much steeper. We can place a marker on this one as well by selecting marker 2, place on trace 2, and repeat the process for finding a delta. I hope you have enjoyed learning about scalar network analysis in the new Spike software and look forward to your feedback.